Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a rather large box. It's another mail call. This time from my good friend Phil in West Sussex, just south of the wonderful city of London in the UK. And I'm going to open this up and show you I was the winner of a recent draw on Phil's channel, which I'm a regular visitor to. <laughs> says, sorry about all the polystyrene peanuts here. Phil, I understand you got to keep the packing light, especially when it's going overseas. Phil's channel is called Diecast for you to see. I left a link in the description below and you can see here I'm pointing you towards his New Year giveaway draw. And we start with a letter. Maybe some instructions. Hello Andrew, I hope this parcel finds you well. I very much enjoy your channel and your generosity when giving your custom, so it is a pleasure to be able to send you these giveaways and project pieces. The giveaways are wrapped in plain tissue. Items that may be suitable for your customs have an orange sticker applied. The wrapped items with blue stickers are maybe for yourself if you are a collector, or you're welcome to pass them on if you have no use for them. All the best and take care, Phil. That was some gold leaf, very delicate like butterfly wings, so I didn't handle that too much, but Phil, I'll give that a try. Maybe on a Rolls Royce. And the first box is not even part of the giveaway. We're beginning with some extras, and I see the magic Porsche word here. It's a collection box of five from MC Toys, which is a group that formed together with Maisto. Thank you, Phil. What a great start right out of the gate which reminds me to give a shameless plug for my YouTube channel's second anniversary Porsche Invitational. You've still got about two weeks to put an entry in for that. Phil's doing one, and I hope you will too. <laughs> and look, ever recycling. Phil, I'm going to inflict those peanuts on somebody else when I send a box out. And we get to the draw prizes. Guys and girls, this is no small giveaway package. So let's tear into these, and we start off with one, a Monster Jam from Hot Wheels. A little mystery bag. We're starting micro small. What is this? Never seen one before. It's <laughs> a tiny little pirate themed monster truck, and it has a key. I bet you this shoots it across the tabletop. Let's give it a try. Insert here. Zing! Oh! Ha! <laughs> there! There goes the rest of my afternoon playing with this thing. Woo! <laughs> Good times. Bill, I'm gonna keep that one. Alright, having some fun here. Let's put that off to the side and see what's next. Ooh, I see a theme developing here. Phil knows I'm a Porsche man. This is a 911 GTI 98 by Hot Wheels. Glistening metallic flake purple. Oh, I like it. Very cool. I will add that to my ever-expanding box of Porsche castings from all makes and models. What's this? Oh, it's another super small 1 to 63 scale. Silver Arrow is the maker. I'm not familiar with them. And it's a little pickup truck. It's unmarked on the bottom. Leave a comment below and help me out. Uh, now, look at this. Company logo from China. I think they wanted to say surpassing the future, but they are super assing the future. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, the box alone from this one is a keeper. That's hilarious. Did you notice that before you sent it out? I'm, I'm never going to lose that. Thank you. <laughs> I'm having too much fun for a full-grown man playing with these toys. It's a Mercedes-Benz E-Class Touring. I had to pull out a magnifying glass to read the brand name, and it's Hongwell. <laughs> You're killing me with the names of these Chinese castings. I love it. Well, they're keepers for all the wrong reasons. 
I'm kidding you, Phil. Here's another new name for me, Classics, and this is a Morris Minor. Police Panda Estate Car. Really small again, that makes these fascinating. This is 1 to 76 scale. Okay, made in China, no problem for me. Love them. I've got a little project in mind already for that. All right. Next in the lineup, also in a box. Oh, from France, this is a Norev. It's a 1970 Citroen GS. Beautiful. Let's check it out. Some of these might not be readily available to viewers in America, Canada, Australia, and other places overseas, but I live in Switzerland bordering France and Germany, and so these are readily available. But that's a very nice casting. I like that. Right. So back to the slowly diminishing mountain of giveaway boxes. There's a couple inside this one. Hot Wheels. It's the Homer. <laughs> I don't really know the show. I, I know about it, of course. I can't say I've watched too many Simpsons episodes, but I get a kick out of some of the clips that I've seen. Very cool. Also Hot Wheels, a Velocita. Kind of a fantasy car that is really nice looking lines on that. And some interesting wheels too. Here's a mate to the earlier one. Now I've got a pair of these Never too many Porsches is my motto. Here's another double whammy. A second Simpsons car. This is called the Family Car. And according to a quick Google search, it's a Plymouth Junkarola. Driven exclusively by Homer. Although Marge, Bart, Lisa, and even Maggie have driven it at some point. There's a pair of Simpsons. Screen time cars. There's a Hot Wheels Tropical ice cream truck. I'm always looking for these because you can turn these into any kind of street food vendor machines. Right on. Also in a display case, this is a GP Formula brand Renault F1 race car, and it's a pullback toy. So I got another one that will shoot across my hobby bench. Very nicely detailed. Love the F1 tires on this one. Anything in black and yellow looks very striking in my opinion. All plastic. So very lightweight. But well made. So many new brands, Phil. Thank you for introducing me and everyone who's watching this unboxing to these different models. Very interesting. I'll keep them all in their display cases until it's their turn on the customizing bench. Another twofer. Oh, here's the Batmobile. And this is from my era, the TV show with Adam West. Zap, pow, boof. That's my favorite of all of them. And Snoopy, going after the Red Baron on top of the dog house. I've never had that one before. <laughs> Happy to add it to my collection. This is the last package of two from the giveaway draw. It's a Hot Wheels Datsun 510 wagon. I don't have this either. So thankful for these mail calls that come in and the very generous online friends that I have, like Phil at Diecast for you to see. I just can't get them here. The last one is the 68 Mazda Cosmo Sport by Hot Wheels, the special Japan Historics series. Very cool. Okay, I need to clear my bench off because we're only part way through. Now come the orange tagged extra cars. 
This is showing the generosity of Phil. He didn't just send the giveaway draw prize cars. Now we're into the extras, just because Phil's a great guy. This is a corgi minivan with some good weight to it. So that's a metal base. I'm back pristine. Not a mark on this one. But I always have my wheels turning in my head for ideas of what I might do with these. Look at this big mama jama. It's another corgi. It's a scammel truck with the Pickford's delivery on it. And that back doesn't open up, but that is a nicely made, solid model. Good one. Two corgis side by side. A little smaller and a little lighter. It's an American station wagon by Lesney. Okay, this one's been chewed by the dog, but I love to get them in this condition because the rougher they look in the beginning, the better they look when they're all finished up, and it makes me look like I know what I'm doing. I instantly know a project for this. Thank you, Phil. You're a mind reader. And the very popular VW Golf. This is a super fast from Matchbox. Lime green roof rack on there. It's a trailer hitch. I learned how to drive stick shift on a rabbit, as they were called in Canada and America. And I did one up a, a while ago. But I'm due for another one soon, so this will get its turn, absolutely. Oh, I love this. Does anyone recognize the Ford Anglia? Also in rough shape, so it'll clean up beautifully. There's a little bit of scratch and wear on the windshield. I think I can manage that okay. Super. You know what? Spring lineup for sure. That's instantly in the rotation. That's my favorite so far, Phil. There's a, a wreck truck by Lesney. Very cute. Oh, lost a hook off the back of that. That's easily repaired with a 3D print job. Please comment below and tell me which cars out of this unboxing you'd like to see me go to work on or Leave your ideas and impressions on some of these new and classics that Phil has so generously provided. What's next? It's a Jaguar Mark 10. Look at that the hood opens and you see that big engine under there. This will also look beautiful when it's all done up. Love the Jags. So nice. Phil, you're hitting on all cylinders here. This is just a fantastic unboxing. And thank you for all these extras. Here's another super fast. This one's a little orange Renault 17TL. Opening doors on that. It's in very good condition, too. I have quite a few super fast cars now, and I kind of like them. Sometimes I swap out the wheels for another set or a 3D printed set. So this will get its turn on the bench too. It'll take some time because there's so many here. Those are the orange extras. One last look at that. These are not the giveaway prize cars. These are all extras. Are we finished? <laughs> no, not yet. These are the blue extras, and Phil said maybe you want to keep these in a collection or do what you wish. You can give these away. And we're back to the magic Porsche mark. This is from a company called Bush. I don't know them. It's the little 356. Wow, 1 to 87. So small and cute. I'm allowed to give them away if I want, but I keep the Porsches, Phil. You know that. Thank you for the very careful packaging that you've done. Everything has arrived in great shape. It's a Porsche 928 Rally on a plastic display. Guisval, 
is made in Spain. I have one or two of these and I absolutely am certain that viewers in America, Australia, Canada, don't get to handle a Spanish-made guisval. So thank you for that. That's a rare find even for me over here in Switzerland. Edocar is different. Now, it's called a ER2 Phi, and I'm going to call it a Porsche, although they're not labeled Porsche, probably for licensing reasons. But that's unmistakable. That's a 911. That's got to be five or six new brand names that I've never heard of before, Phil. This is a great educational tour for me today. Interesting livery on there. It's a plastic base. Every Porsche is a beautiful car. Oh, yeah. The silhouette of that car is what a child would draw. If you say, draw me a picture of a car, you're going to get a Porsche 911. Back into the box for safekeeping like all the others. Speaking of Porsche, it's another one. A Gurry car. I drive a black Porsche. It's my favorite color. Phil, you went above and beyond on this mail call. Thank you so much, my brother. Everybody, check out this most generous man and friend in the online community. I wish each of you a wonderful day today. Drive carefully. It's coffee time.